Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kevin, and this is probably the latest I'm recording a vlog thus far. If you go by the clock, it's technically January 14th, 2016, but the way I am counting my days is from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. So we're going to call this the vlog for January 13th, 2016. Today was one of those days, a little bit uneventful, so I didn't go out and film a bunch of the day and be able, you know, I couldn't make like one of those like little story films that I want to make on, you know, some of the vlogs. I worked all day, did the Artcasters live show, went to band practice, worked all night. So I think on days like this, where I can't go out and film all day, or I can't think of something funny or clever or something like that to do for the vlog, um, I'm probably just going to tell a story, probably from my past, punk rock past, skateboarding past things like that. So in this vlog I thought I'd tell a story about when I first moved to Portland. A lot of my friends in town have heard this story before and if you're one of my friends in town and watches this vlog then maybe skip this one because you've heard it. But for everybody else I moved to Portland about nine and a half years ago at this point. I didn't really know anybody. I had some acquaintances kinda and at the time my wife was my girlfriend. We had been having this long distance relationship. I was in San Francisco. She was up here in Portland. But mostly I didn't really know too many people. But through my acquaintances I ended up moving into this house with these two other guys that were other artists. And they were pretty cool guys and they were willing to kind of show me the rope, show me around Portland, things like that. In Portland, in various neighborhoods, at different times of the month, there's different like art walks or gallery crawls, that kind of thing. And probably the granddaddy of them all is in the Pearl District downtown. And being that we are all artists, that was one of the first things that they took me out to do. So they take me out to the Pearl District for this big art walk, you know, a little roommate bonding, a uh, little partying talking art, that kind of stuff. But part of the, the walk, or the gallery crawl, went by this punk rock club that was called the Satyricon that used to be here in Portland. It's gone now. And I'd been there a bunch of times, like when my bands had come up, like touring the West Coast and played shows there and things like that. And I was kind of aware that we were in that neighborhood, but I, you know, being new, I didn't really know where it was. Well, we walked from one gallery to another, right past it, and there was a big crowd out front and the sounds coming out of it were my cup of tea and of course I wanted to go in but I wanted to be cool and respectful these guys aren't really punk rockers so I just took a mental note of where on the map that club is so I could come back so we're all walking by no one's necessarily looking punk rock or anything you know I haven't worn the uniform for years and the crowd out front most of them were generally about 15, 10, 15 years younger than me, but dressed like I did 10, 15, 20 years prior to that. Same band t-shirts, same patches on their jackets that I had. But so, you know, I'm just walking by. We're all just walking by. And then all of a sudden, we start hearing somebody yelling, get the fuck out of here, indie rocker. Fuck off, indie rocker. And in my head, I'm thinking, well, that's fucked up. Because these new friends I'm making, they know how important punk rock is to me. Now, this is kind of the exposure they're getting to it right after meeting me. Two, punk rock isn't about being a dick to other people for me. And then three, I arrogantly thought, they're obviously not talking about me. I mean, this is the scene I grew up in. So I thought it was fucked that they're screaming this at one of my new friends, who's not a punk. It's fine to be into punk rock and have friends who are into other things. That was a little aside, I could go on a bigger rant about that right now because it seems like punk rock has gone from this open-minded, anti-conformist kind of scene to this very closed-minded, kind of conformist click. But that's not what it's about for me, so moving on. So anyway, I feel bad about that and then think like, that sucks that, you know, these guys I'm with probably feel bad because someone is, is yelling this at probably one of them. Well, we keep hearing this shouting. Fuck off, fuck off, indie rocker, you suck, all this kind of stuff. And then so, uh, one of the guys I'm with, he taps me on the shoulder, and he says, man, that kid is yelling at you. So I turn around, I'm like, again, arrogantly, baffled. What? Are you kidding me? Like, these are supposed to be my people, right? Granted, I've gotten older, so wearing the uniform doesn't look good on me anymore. To be fair, I was in my mid-30s at that point. I probably just looked like some regular old dude. Anyway, so I look back at this kid, Liberty Spike charged out hair like I've had before. You know, he's got this vest with band patches and buttons, all this stuff. All bands that I've, some of them I've seen before he was even born. Some of them even broke up before I even got into punk rock. But all stuff that I've worn or do wear sometimes, you know, that kind of thing. Then I notice his t-shirt. It's a very, very familiar t-shirt to me. On his t-shirt was this logo. It's this logo. I played guitar in that band. I was one of the original founders of that band. Kid was wearing my t-shirt. 
So, the lesson for today. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's a platitude, but oh well, I got nothing, and I'm gonna go. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.